Hey guys, it's Brian Flake Apps, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an application when you click on a button it goes to a website or you can email you can it can email it to you. Uh so this is gonna be pretty easy, just one line of code, pretty easy, so let's just get started. So we're gonna open up Xcode, file, new project, view base applications fine, continue, let's just make it say you R L there it goes, save it. So when you get in here, you want to go into your uh, classes in the URL dot H. You're underneath the two little semicolons. Hit enter two times and dash parentheses UI. Uh, no, wait a minute. I B action. Um, name this. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna say email. Sure. Semicolon. I. B. No. Wait a minute. I D. I D. Uh. Center. Semicolon. Save it. And let's move on to our resources. And then in our resources, we will be opening our URL view controller that XIB and then my or that. It will load up interface builder. And um what you want to do now is go uh click on your files owner and as you can see in these connections, email is right there. If not, go back and put in the code right again. So now what you want to do is put in a button that says uh go to my web site that's fine all right let's go in here and make it a little bit better i guess whatever you want to call it, i don't care that's good all right so now let's go like i said before let's click on the files owner and go to our connections and click drag that to email cuz that is what we called it right there so minimize that that and file owner go to your connections and click email to the round rack button touch up inside file save file quit and let's go back into xcode so now we have that done now you want to go into your URL view controller and now you want to make since we didn't like uh like write the class files we have to do this like manually so we had dash i b action and we called it email semicolon i b no i d same mistake i d so it's pretty much the same thing you just did. You really want to memorize this little line thing right there because that will help you a lot going on through there. Instead of the semicolon, you're going to put these little brackets right there. And um, so now you can put anything in here what that button wants to do. But we're just going to make it so it goes to your website. So you're going to make it do these little bracket things and make it a UI app click application shared application do that little thing and then open URL and make that little line thing again and s u r oops and s u r l e wait a minute uh oh u or L with string this pops up semicolon and this is where you could do whatever you really want uh, I'm just gonna do HTTP for the for such just do www dot brand flake apps apps there we go 
Where? Oh, when I forgot. Dot com. And after that, dude, that those two things, semicolon, and that is all the code. It's just this one little line to open up the application. You can put this on anything you want. I mean, it's pretty much Apple's giving you like anything you really want to. It's really easy. So let's do command S and run it, and which is Apple R. If you guys just want to know that, so here it is. Installing URL in Simulator. Here it is. Go to my website and open it up. Uh oh, probably type the B R A D. Oh, I forgot the E. Sorry, I can't even spell my own company name. Save it. Run it. Go to my website and it exits out my app that I just built and goes to this one. And you could click on option and you'll get these little dot things and you could zoom in or out and pan around there and spray up like apps. And so that's pretty much it. And then how to email. This is a good one. Even though you can't do it on the iPhone simulator. You go email. Email to... Oops. Oop, oop, oop. All right. To that, and you just put in Uno Brandon at Mac dot com, and obviously it will um it won't work on the simulator because it doesn't have email in there. So that's my whole entire tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you guys wanted to do. Well, I mean, yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.